I understand that, that climate change affected you personally. How did it affect you? Well, it affected my community because there was a massive flood. Well, not a massive, but there was a flood and uh, it forced us out of our homes and we had to get put in hotels. How did the flooding happen? Well, we were trying to prepare for it. There was, uh, I don't know, just out of nowhere, it just happened like overnight, just a big flood. Everybody was trying to prepare, uh, do sandbags to protect their homes, but that wasn't good enough because we didn't have enough sand and stuff to like go around the church and the band office. It was just, and there was very little help from our community. So, yeah. <laughs> so do you miss your family? Well, yes, it's home, of course, mm -hmm. but it's the, they say it's the 14th worst place to live in Canada, but we call it home, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and are you going, do you go back home at all? Uh, when I can, because it's expensive, so, and my baby never been out there yet. I wanted to take her at least one year, but they're moving our reserve to a different part to, from away from the water so it doesn't happen again and we're slowly rebuilding our community on a different side of uh, the reserve so and how is that affecting the community um, because some some of them are getting left behind like my granny she's getting left behind because her house didn't get damaged so the people's houses that aren't damaged are staying there and then people's houses that are damaged, they're getting a new house and being moved to the other side of the, the reserve. What would you like for baby in the future? Mm, for her to call it home and for everybody to be there. And it was hard because I never took her back there ever since she was born. So I would like her to see how it is to live out there. And I grew up there for 11 years and then we moved to Winnipeg. So. Yeah, I just want to get her the nature feeling, yeah. <laughs> and has the nature feeling changed since climate change? Yes, it has, because it's different now. It doesn't feel like home anymore because everybody's in Winnipeg, living in Winnipeg now, and the people that are left there, they're, they're mostly elders. Mm -hmm. so. so the elders have been left behind? Yes. My grandma doesn't want to leave because that's home to her and she grew up there all her life so she doesn't want to leave it and she doesn't like the city life so a lot of people lost a lot of good things like their memories of childhood and uh, furniture and and then the house just like smelt like mold after because we left it for so long and there's some people that did, houses didn't get damaged and they had to stay back home and there was like nothing left out there because everybody was gone to Winnipeg and put in hotels. So it broke up the families? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about it your did. hunting lines? That took a lot because my uncle's a fisherman and they usually go every year but that year they didn't go out because water was all over and couldn't really hunt on damaged water so because the lake it took over our community so yeah what about your drinking water what happened with that well in 2011 uh, we had bad drinking water um, if we were to give you that water and say here drink it then you would feel awful after and sick to your stomach because of it it was like yellow and like you couldn't even see through the glass 